Hello and good morning children. I hope you all are fine. Yes. So in the previous class we have been learning about human body the living machine, isn't it? And we have learned about how many organ systems are there in human body. So there are eight important organ system. And in the previous class we have already learned about four organ system okay so today's in this video we shall learn about remaining four organ system in human body okay so let us begin circulatory system so what is the circulatory system in human body circulatory system is responsible for the circulation of blood to all parts of our body okay so circulation system is responsible for the circulation of blood to all the parts of our body and the main parts of the circulatory system are the heart the blood and the blood vessels okay so these plays an important role in the circulatory system in our body our heart is located on the left side of the chest yes or no we all know that our heart is located on the left side of the chest and the heart pumps blood to all parts of our body okay so heart also plays an important role in the circulation of blood so like that many tubes come out of the heart and these are called blood vessels so what are blood vessels blood vessels carry the blood to all parts of the body okay and blood contains oxygen and absorb food again blood also collects waste from all parts of the body and may takes it to the excretory system so circulatory system is responsible for the circulations of blood so next one we have is digestive system so how this digestive system works in human body the food we eat is broken down into smaller pieces and then absorbed by the body this process is called digestion this digested food is used by our body to produce energy okay so we'll see how the organs that help in digestion to form the digestive system they are teeth food pipe stomach small intestine and large intestine so how this organ helps in digestive system first is teeth we chew the food with the help of our teeth so the food is broken down into smaller pieces and then it mixes with saliva in our mouth number second food pipe the chewed food travels to the st stomach through the food pipe okay as you all can see in the picture third one is stomach the stomach is made up muscles the stomach further grinds the food then digestive juices in the stomach mix with the food and the food particles change into a fine paste fourth one is small intestine small intestine from the stomach the food goes into the small intestine then digestive juices in the small intestine further digest the food then the digested food is then absorbed into blood then the blood takes it to different parts of the body okay so like that last one is large intestine some part of the food cannot be digested by our body and this waste goes into the large intestine then it is thrown out of the body through the anus okay so in order to digest our food uh, we must need four organs they are teeth or a mouth food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine 
and then anus okay so go through this picture and see how the digestive digestive system functions so next one we have is excretory system excretory system contains kidney blood vessels uterer and urinary bladder okay so how this excretory system works we all know that our body works all the time yes and it produces a lot of waste material this waste is mixed with the blood which is harmful for the body hence organs that remove waste from the blood form the excretory system which is the kidneys uterer and urinary bladder okay so how this works the kidney works as a filters and remove all the waste from the blood in the form of urine urine formed by the kidneys flows through the tube called ureter and then collects in the urinary bladder then urine is removed from the body at regular intervals okay so the main parts of the excretory system are kidneys blood vessels uterus and urinary bladder next one we have is reproductive system so what is reproductive system the system that helps the organism to produce more of their own kind is called reproductive system children about the reproductive system uh, you will learn more about it in the higher classes all right so that's all for today uh, we shall continue the exercises in the next class you just go through the video and understand the four main important organ system okay